decided to go on a spontaneous trip down memory lane and go and sit by where I used to live, um, where I lived in my domestically violent relationship, and I just want to say some things. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, however, there's not really a lot of media around that because there's no awareness <laughs> on domestic violence. To the person who's watching this right now, if you're in a very hostile environment, um, if you and the person that you're living with get in really hurtful verbal arguments, um, really demeaning physical arguments, um, don't, don't be afraid to be open to someone about what you're going through because where I used, where I used to live was down the street from a precinct and I walked past that precinct t tonight and I'm not saying, you know, to go into the police because I come, I was one who did not go to the police. The police are the best people to contact in your situation. However, I understand the fear behind that. So I'd say if you're afraid to go to the police, talk to a friend um, and just don't be afraid to let a loved one know what's happening because ultimately I didn't realize that I was in a domestically violent relationship until I casually started explaining things that were going on to a close friend of mine and um, they told me it wasn't normal. So if you're too scared to go to the police because of embarrassment or fear of what will happen to your abuser, um, I completely understand. Don't go through it alone though. Don't be afraid to speak to someone that loves you and cares about you and has an un has um, an unbiased opinion. Um, it's really important. And not only an unbiased opinion, but a healthy opinion. Um, because maybe they can help you. If the police can't help you, maybe that loved one that you speak up to can help you. Okay, just so we're clear, I'm not saying to not go to the police. Go to the police. But if you're afraid to do that, understandably so, talk to a friend. Because staying in silence won't help you.